In this video, we will test the accuracy and convergence time of the new Galileo High Accuracy Service, also known as Galileo HAS, from the European Union Agency for the Space Program. Commonly called Galileo HAS, this free GNSS correction service entered its initial phase one of service in January 2023. EOS positioning systems had the first GNSS receiver, the AeroGold Plus, to support Galileo HAS. Galileo HAS via Signal in Space provides better than 20 cm real-time accuracy anywhere in the world with 95% confidence. The principle is similar to the commonly used real-time kinematic or RTK corrections in the sense that a convergence time is required. In the case of RTK, Convergence from a float to a fixed location might happen in a matter of seconds because the base stations are local to us. In the case of Galileo has, a different correction technique called PPP, or precise point positioning, is used. PPP does not require a connection to a local base station nor RTK network, but instead uses global corrections, resulting in a longer convergence time. The orbiting Galileo satellites themselves participate in the broadcast of these base stationless corrections while also providing regular positioning signals. This is ideal for remote areas that don't have access to RTK. In its initial phase one, Galileo has requires a longer convergence period than the future operational phase two. Current convergence times of phase one vary between five to 30 minutes depending on your location in the world. Today, we will test our accuracy over a 30-minute period. Our goal is to assess accuracy, stability, and convergence time. We'll be using an AeroGold Plus GNSS receiver. Our antenna is located on our office roof in Terrebonne, Quebec, Canada. We'll also use two desktop software programs, EOS Tools Pro to monitor our Galileo has parameters, and PC Mapper to compare our current location with the reference point. To fit our observations into this video, we applied a time lapse. On the right side of our screen, you'll see PC Mapper. The red diamond represents the true location of our antenna mounted to our roof. The first, smallest circle around the diamond represents a 10 centimeter radius from our true location. The next circle represents 15 centimeters the next 20 centimeters, and each circle thereafter represents an additional 10 centimeters. Once our test begins, our calculated position will fall within these circles and we can compare it to our true location. Our expectation is that our accuracy will initially rapidly fall within 100 centimeters, and finally remain under 20 centimeters once convergence is achieved. After we power on our receiver, points will continuously update in the concentric circles. These points represent our Galileo has corrected positions. The positions will improve continuously until convergence. After achieving convergence, the positions should fall within 20 centimeters or better. Let's take a look at some important parameters we will be monitoring during the test. On the left side of your screen is EOS Tools Pro on a desktop PC, connected via Bluetooth to our AeroGold Plus. In the position menu, we'll look at a few critical pieces of information. Our diff status slash source shows us both the source and status of our differential corrections. It will progress in three phases, from receiving, to applying, and finally converging. When our diff status slash source reads GPS slash Gal has, this means our AeroGold Plus is receiving Galileo has corrections, but they have not yet been applied, nor have we converged. Our HRMS represents our estimated horizontal accuracy in meters. During the GPS slash Gal has phase, our location has an HRMS of 0.857 meters. Now, note our range in PC Mapper. The range represents the difference between our HRMS location and our true antenna location. Our range is currently 0.364 meters. Let's see how these values improve as we progress towards convergence. 
watch our diff status slash source in EOS Tools Pro as we converge. Our diff status changes from GPS to float as the Aragold Plus starts applying the Galileo has corrections. The keyword here is applying. Although we have not yet achieved a fixed convergence, we are on our way. As we converge, we can monitor our GNSS metadata. In the Satellites menu of EOS Tools Pro, we see the number of satellites we're viewing, tracking, and using. In the RTK status menu, we see data and diagnostics about the signals that are receiving corrections from Galileo Haas. Finally, in the map view, we see our horizontal coordinates, elevation, and other data. Note that when converging with a source of corrections, your antenna does not need to remain static in one location. It can move around, as long as it has a clear line of sight to the sky. In PC Mapper, notice how our calculated position is moving closer to our surveyed antenna location. After about 30 minutes, our location enters the 20 centimeter level of accuracy. Keep watching our diff status in EOS Tools Pro. Our diff status switches from float to fixed. We have now converged using Galileo has as our correction source. Our range to the reference location has decreased to 0.151 meters, or 15.1 centimeters. And our receiver reported estimated HRMS has lowered to 0.117 meters, or 11.7 centimeters. This falls well within the 20 centimeters of accuracy we were expecting. We are very happy with these preliminary results of phase one of the Galileo has. Performance is continuously improving while Galileo has is ramping up to phase two. Want to learn more about Galileo has? Subscribe to our newsletter by clicking the link in the video description. And stay tuned for more updates as Galileo has enters its operational phase, currently estimated in 2025.